the afternoon's 12th race. It's our feature on the afternoon. It's the Russell Noonan Memorial. They are lining up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Let's return to track announcer Vance Cameron. Ironside Shieldster, Coast to Coast Shark, Frontier Cruise, Sobble Attack, and J.J. Patrick. That's the field of five in the Russell Noonan Memorial, top of the stretch. It's the 12th race featured. They're all lined up. Post time. They're up and facing Sobel Attack, Frontier Cruise, Coast to Coast Shark, Ironside Sealster stacking him up as he guards the rail around the turn. And they're three wide at the eighth pole, and Sobel Attack will go to the lead for Dale Spence. From the outside, second, that is Coast to Coast Shark. Now to take over second at the rail, Ironside Sealster, Coast to Coast Shark, backed up to be third. Racing fourth is Frontier Cruise, trailing the field is J.J. Patrick on by the opening quarter and it's Sobel Attack. The heavy favorite was there. 27 and 2 to open it up. Boom! Just like that, that fired up leader is the heavy favorite. Sobel Attack and Dale Spence. Second is Ironside Sealster racing third. Coast to Coast Shark. Then in fourth, it's Frontier Cruise. J.J. Patrick sees them all from fifth. Straight alignment on by the opening half mile. Sobble Attack, the midway point leader in 56 and four. Around the turn, arriving next at the 5'8". Sobble Attack, the leader by a length. Ironside Silster, that two-hole ride. Coast to Coast Shark, third. Here comes Frontier Cruise. Fourth on the outside, going to the outside. Outside fifth is J.J. Patrick. Three quarters comes next. Sobble attack getting him there. Racing from second. Up on the outside is Frontier Cruise. Third up the rail is Ironside Shieldster. One, 26 and one was the three quarters. And they're homeward bound now. And it's Sobble attack clear on the lead. Frontier Cruise second. Ironside Shieldster third. J.J. Patrick way wide. Sobble attack. Attack in line to Dale Spence, a going away winner. Second is Frontier Cruise. J.J. Patrick rallies up third, and the time for the mile one fifty-five and one. Here comes the slow-mo replay for the afternoon's 12th race. Our feature, the Russell Noonan Memorial and Sobble Attack. Left hard from post four. Got to the front 27 and two. Half up in 56 and four. Down to three quarters in 126 and one. And he's a going away winner here today in 155 and one. That's two in a row for this horse. And the owners, Paul Bigger and Don Kalbeck. Dale Spence in the driver's seat today. Up for second is the three Frontier Crews. J.J. Patrick is third. And in there for fourth, that is the two Coast to Coast Shark. 4-3-5-2 unofficially in the afternoon's 12th race feature. And we'll see Sobble Attack and Dale Spence. Dale doubles up today. They'll be in the Woodmere Standard Bridge Winner's Circle next.
Sobble Attack finds his way to the 12th race winner's circle. Bay Pacing Gelding, the five-year-old son of Better's Delight, is off the up the credit dam. Ambrosia Sealster, owned by Paul Bigger of Tyne Valley and Don Callback of Summerside, bred by Sobble Hill Farms and Nacido Racing Incorporated of Ontario. Trained by Paul Bigger, Dale Spence put him on top at every call. Dale's second winner for the double at the mile 155 and one. Sobble Attack in the 12th and at trackside, the Russell Noonan Memorial Cooler presentation.